Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. This video will be focusing on that phase of testing that we always you know, encounter. That problems that happen in real time. For example, you might have found cases that an application doesn't work on your browser but is working fine in your friend's machine. An application that is working fine in the Chrome browser but doesn't respond well or you know, in the proper manner on the Firefox or on IE or on Safari browser. How do we tackle it? To tackle this problem, Selenium comes up with an option to choose which browser you want to perform your testing in. Yes, there is also an advantage in which you write one script and that script can run on multiple browsers depending on which browser you want to test on. Now, let's see how actually we can test our same script on multiple browsers. Before that, let's have a look at what all factors actually let us or actually require testing of same script on different browsers. The first one being font size mismatch in different browsers. Then JavaScript implementation can be different. CSS and HTML validation differences can be there. There still are browsers they don't support HTML5. There might be some page alignment or div size issues. There might be a problem with the image, image orientation. And the a particular browser might be incompatible with a particular version of OS. So now, Selenium gives us a power in which we can choose our own browser, the browser on which we want to test on. Let's see how we can do that. Obviously, till now, we have been testing entirely on the Firefox uh, browser. Now, let's see how do we test it on the IE drive, on the IE or Internet Explorer. To run a test case on IE, you need to set your property that is system.set property, the property is webdriver.ie.driver2 whatever, wherever you have downloaded this exe file. Guys, make sure that whichever exe we are downloading, it, we will be downloading this exe in our practical session once we do them. You need to mention your path. My path is C, that's why I have mentioned it here as C. You are supposed to mention your own path. Then you call the web driver on. Till now you were calling on the new Firefox driver, but now you call it on the new Internet Explorer driver. And similar is the case with Chrome. You set the path of the Chrome, uh, you know, the Chrome driver and you fire the driver as driver equal to new Chrome driver. So this was all for you know multi-browser testing. We would be actually doing a practical way and we would be first downloading this, uh, downloading these EXEs and then would be continuing on the execution process. So let's quickly go to our screen and see the working of multi-browser testing. So for testing it on different browsers, we first need the driver of that browser. So, like uh, I'm doing it on Mac, so I would be say Chrome, dr Chrome driver for Mac. So from here you can download whatever you know, like whatever browsers or you know whatever drivers you want. Like see, the Chrome driver. So I go to this particular driver. So like if I want to download this one, I can simply download this one from this path. Like for Linux or Mac or for Windows. If I'm using Mac, so I would download the uh, Mac one. I've already downloaded it, you know, to save the time and have kept it over here. Since my system is a Mac one, so I need to give some permissions to this one. So uh, go down to the properties one and make sure that, you know, you have allowed the executable, you know, like that this uh, application can be executed, right? Because if this is not done, then you won't be able to run your application and you would be getting an error, right? So here coming back to the source folder, I'll quickly create a package and I'll name this package as com.example uh, and here in this uh, package what I'll do is I'll create a new Java, a new class or new Java file. Uh, I'll name that file as uh, say chrome example and I obviously I want the Obviously, I want the main method into it, right? So here, you know, like uh, as we have been doing, you know, in the case of uh, Geeko driver, I go, I set the property. The property here is quite similar. Only difference is now we would be using the Chrome driver, right? So here I come and I mention it as Chrome 
driver. So now the next step is again the same you know we get the web driver I say it as driver equal to new here I will be mentioning it as the clone driver and once I'm done with this one I would you know not do uh, something big or something normal I would just need to fetch the like I'll just fetch the home page of our website that is tutorialspoint.com system then I'll just print the title I don't you know want to you know uh, perform a lengthy operation I just want to show you know the working of uh, the chrome that yes you know the system the application was actually opened up onto the chrome browser so here I'll say okay driver dot get title and once done I'll just simply quit the driver also I'll just say like okay yes the the test case is executed successfully so now I run my application and I would find that it will open up a new instance of Chrome see it's Google Chrome it's uh, you know working it's opening other website so yes you know the this is my entire you know the entire uh, title and this is the uh, result that yes the test case has been Execute it successfully now why and the driver has been quit uh, because we called a statement that is driver dot quit so this was a very basic and a very you know very good example of how do we use you know a chrome browser maybe you can you know you can practice or you can use this browser at for anything like you know like our for it if it's a form element or if it's a web uh, web driver commands the get commands you know it behaves the entirely in a similar manner right so guys this was all for you know the chrome browser we even have browsers like the safari browser the ie browser the, the entire process remains the same we only just pass a different browser name in the set property and we create a different object of this particular you know like uh, of this particular uh, driver rest the entire procedure the entire process remains the same so thank you guys this was all for the cross browser testing